Hey guys, it's Spook again, and today I'm going to show you a really cool tip on how you can record from your iPhone or, or your iPad without any extra software on your uh, Macintosh. Uh, but in order to show you that, I actually have to uh, use an extra piece of software to capture my computer screen so you can see how to begin the process on your own computer. So the piece of software that we're actually going to use to uh, record your iPhone or your iPad content is called the QuickTime Player. And that comes by default on your Mac. And uh, you heard that right. You do use the QuickTime Player to record the contents of your iPhone or iPad. And the way you do that is just to go ahead and start up QuickTime Player. By default, it's going to pop up this dialog box to ask you what uh, video file you want to open to play. And that's not what we want to do. We actually want to make a new recording. So I'm going to go ahead and click Done and then go to File, and start New Movie Recording. Now, by default, uh, it's going to pop up with your FaceTime uh, camera, which you can see right now. Uh, but I'm going to click on this drop-down, and you'll see that iPhone 3, that's the name of my iPhone since I have several, is a choice. So I'm going to select that, and it's going to go ahead and read the uh, contents from my iPhone. And I'll leave it on the built-in microphone from the Mac because you get better quality that way. Now, what I've done is I've just simply connected my phone directly to my Mac with a lightning cable. But it'll work for any iDevice uh, using a lightning cable or the 30-pin connector. So I'm going to stop the screencast software, which is called uh, ScreenFlow. Uh, there are many uh, available. But that's just allowing me to capture my desktop so you can see what I'm doing. And as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to pop back into QuickTime and actually record, actually record content from my iPhone so you can see uh, the quality. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. And this time I'm actually doing the recording of my phone from the QuickTime player. And you can see that it's super responsive. And the quality is really nice. There's no lag. There's no drop in, uh, in quality uh, like you would see with AirPlay or anything like that. So it's really nice to, to be able to do this uh, without any extra software that you have to pay for or anything like that. It is super responsive. I can go into uh, uh, an app and see really high quality uh, graphics. Okay? And it just works really well and super smooth. If you've ever done recordings of your iPad or your iPhone using AirPlay, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, and this is going to be a godsend. So uh, go ahead, give it a try, and uh, I hope you have fun. See you next time. Bye.